But what are good strategies for learning vocabulary? Should students try to memorize words? Should they read texts with words to learn? Do vocabulary drills help? Should they be learning more about words? Professor Rinaldi developed some technology tools to help students with strategies for learning vocabulary. I asked Professor Rinaldi to tell us why he thinks that vocabulary is so important for English learners to control. He said that we cannot say anything without vocabulary. Let's listen. Why do you think it's important to teach vocabulary to students? So vocabulary, in some ways, is the most important dimension of language that learners need to master. There was a, a linguist called David Wilkins who famously said, without grammar, little can be conveyed. Without vocabulary, nothing can be conveyed. And I think that's really true. Grammar helps us structure and refine and clarify what, what we mean. But vocabulary really does the heavy lifting in terms of conveying meaning. And yet, at the same time, vocabulary has traditionally been one of the most neglected areas of language instruction. Um, and as evidence, I can point to the curriculum in English as a second language that we have here at Iowa State. We have courses in listening and reading and writing. In our intensive English program, they teach courses in speaking and grammar. Uh, you can even find specialty courses in pronunciation, but courses in vocabulary are very rare. So for some reason, it's often just considered acceptable to assume that students will acquire the vocabulary they need through exposure to the language. So for example, through reading uh, or through their own efforts at intentional learning of, of vocabulary using notebooks or word cards or some strategy like that. The problem with this assumption is that Research shows learners really can't get all the vocabulary they need through incidental exposure. Learners also need to intentionally acquire new words as well, but the ways they go about doing this may not be the most effective. So often they have trouble select selecting the most appropriate words for learning, identifying those that will be most useful to them, and identifying which aspects of new vocabulary they should focus on. Typically, they equate vocabulary learning with learning the meanings of words, but there's a lot of other information about words that they need in order to use them well. So, although it's impossible to teach all the vocabulary that students will need in the classroom, because there's just too much of it, we can't neglect our duties as teachers with respect to vocabulary, so we need a principled approach to dealing with it in the classroom. And an important aspect of a principled approach is giving students helpful strategies that they can use for learning and using new second language vocabulary effectively. Professor Rinaldi pointed out that without grammar, little can be conveyed. You can't say much without grammar. But without vocabulary, nothing can be conveyed. You can't say anything without vocabulary. Vocabulary holds the meaning. Vocabulary is the stuff we talk about, so it's really important. He also pointed out that historically, vocabulary has been a neglected area in language instruction, and he pointed out that learners need instruction to learn vocabulary because they cannot learn all they need on their own. He also said that students have trouble learning vocabulary on their own it is difficult for them to select the appropriate words to study, identify words they need, and understand what aspects of the words they should be studying. 